Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Our next guests are on a mission to improve the experience and quality of life for women in soccer. And we're not just talking about the players. They want to empower coaches, referees, and administrators as well. Shannon Smith is a former pro player, and Alicia Pelton is a gender equity expert. Both are board members for the Wisconsin Women's Soccer Advisory Council, and we're happy to have them both here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, Hello, thanks for having us. Thanks. Yeah, so let's talk about just uh, soccer in general, sports in general, and what you're seeing, I guess, in inequality between genders. Are are there issues? Are there discrepancies? Yeah, the big discrepancy right now is that um, with Title IX, we've got a lot of new girls playing sports. Uh, but what happened is that from it used to be 90% of the administrators for girls' sports were females, and now we're down to under 20%. So it's really dropped. And what we need to do is get more women involved as they get older and they're coaching, officiating, yeah. um, administrating, and all different aspects because we love sport. And why can't we be able to go and play and coach sport when we're older? So right? I'm sure it's a very involved answer, but how do we solve that? What can we actually do mm -hmm. to increase the number of women in leadership <laughs> roles? And, and that is a really, really uh, hard question because everybody wants that answer and they want to just be able to pull a woman and say, all right, you're going to coach now. But what we need to do is what I, I talk about a lot is about we need to raise our girls differently and our boys differently and, and kind of make them valued as athletes and show them a different way. Um, also then engage them into coaching when they're in their high school and college years, really value their leadership, their experience, their knowledge, which could be different than, um, than boys. And then, and then hire them and have different hiring policies and then retaining them by offering them, you know, giving them awards and pre presenters and all different angles like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I never thought about it, but when you just said that, my, my daughter's just in freshman volleyball, but all of the coaches, assistants, everybody mm -hmm. through varsity, they're all women. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I do think that's really great. cool. Yeah. 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 What about your organization? There are a lot of female leadership organizations. How is yours different? Uh, you know what? I think the biggest thing for us is we're really seeking opportunities to push women into that valued role that Alicia's kind of pinning. Um, one of the things we're learning when we start to uh, study more about how women work and how do we get them to say yes to roles and how do we empower them is a little bit of knowledge and confidence and that's where our scholarships come into play. We're in the middle of finalizing a mentorship program but a lot of it is you are what you see. So mm -hmm. when we see women step into more prominent roles and leadership roles in the sport world and in particular it's the, that's a different type of uh, industry that's been historically dominated by men. So where where is our place? Uh, how can we stand on our own two feet and feel feel proud and, and have a spot in that uh, world? And so I'm, I'm very lucky. I've had a lot of women uh, and men who really push me to continue my career and so it's my full-time job. I, I, I'm a coach for um, the States Association and also for my club. So. And you played professionally in Ireland and in Norway? I did, yes. So you yes. know what you're doing? I, I think so, <laughs> but I learn every day, you know, yeah. and I think that's the thing and, and not to be afraid to say that you don't know everything, mm -hmm. you know, and then when the time comes to be confident and knock it out of the park. You guys have this symposium coming up, and this is really to help push uh, more leadership, women into leadership and, and all that. Talk about what people will experience and who you'd like to come out and join you. We'd like to have, um, we've, we've kind of focused in on soccer, but we want all sports to come. So whether you're basketball, hockey, cycling, um, whatever it is, we'd like to have you come. We're talking about and we're, we're teaching and having speakers talk about raising the girls and how to coach girls, but also trying to create that social network. Uh, different social circle. Right now mm -hmm. the social circles are so limited. So opening those social circles, feeling the empowerment when you're with other women um, and men who are really encouraging and want to go for. So we're trying to open it to anybody who wants to come. It can be parents, it can be college players, high school players, um, older high school players, um, and anybody in, in any type of sport role, or they're just curious about it and they want to um, help. Well, so cool. and, and while women is our medium, it, it is for men and women. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we learn in the studies is that men coach both men and women, girls yeah. and boys. So you gotta make but girls, you know, women often coach just the girl side. So even even our fantastic male role models out there, when you come and you get to know a little bit more about who you're teaching, mm -hmm. you become better for both sides, for both genders. Absolutely. December 8th, the Women in Soccer Symposium. You can find out more by going to WIWomeninSoccer.com. Thank you so much, ladies. Appreciate Thanks it. so Thank much. Thank you. Still